chicken kind of a robot. Extra store, empty the labs, okay. And this is boom stuff to the orbit. Giant wooden mechanical watch. So this is home defense board version too. Oh my, it's quite a big one. Wow, this is cool. Skeleton guitar. Nice. Here it is. Cool. Very famous scene from Titanic. This is cool explanation of how engine works. Here we go to get grab our, our batch. This is day number three. So hopefully, hopefully, a lot of awesome stuff is waiting us. See you. Okay, so we do have a bunch of projects here. So this kind of giant octopus-like uh, droid robot. I don't know how to call it with the wooden and metal part. Interesting if it works. Hopefully it should. More stuff is here. Oh, nice. Chicken kind of a robot. Hello, buddy. <laughs> so I suppose you can bring different cover. Oh, nice. It's, I saw these types of wheel and uh, yeah, exactly. And uh, in Japan, that technology museum, they, they used a lot of these type of wheels to uh, navigate in different directions easily. Cool. Oh, my. Extra store entity labs. Okay. <laughs> it looks a bit, a bit demonic. <laughs> Oh, so you're ready? <laughs> okay, cool. So more stuff here. Let's finish this. So you could drive the small cars. Nice. So here, clear. This is doing stuff to the oldest. <laughs> okay, more rocket stuff. Videos of launching them. Cool, let's see. This should be great. Oh, it's already. Yeah. Okay. The engine. This is what's inside of the rocket. Controls engine. This is how it launched. Giant wooden mechanical watch. For all watch and play with awesome stuff. <laughs> okay. Oh, nice. So this is home defense ball version too. It looks nice. Does it use paintball balls? Oh, pepper balls as well. Nice. Okay, here is some hot club, and you could do probably some hot challenges maybe. Yeah. A lot of stuff, and uh, it looks like one more row to finish here. Okay, now let's me to see. <laughs> oh my gosh, so crazy. Different features of my face. I don't know why. <laughs> Oh my, it's quite a big one. Do you have some spare stickers? Uh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Oh, thank you so much. Just get them out of the wind, mostly. Sounds yeah. <laughs> nice. Thank you. You see, this is awesome one. <gasps> oh, where did you get it? He got a NASA one. But, sus. That's the way we go. Okay, so we're done with outside exhibition and uh, one more fancy course just for the record. One is kind of a, looks like an old Volkswagen something. Or maybe Volvo. What is that? Is it Volkswagen, Volvo or something else? And they put it on a Lord wheels. It's a buggy style. And this one is wagon back. No way to know what was this. 
originally. Okay, and this is Sacramento State Speedster Bullet. Okay, nice. Now we go inside of two more exhibition building club. Here you can have fun driving small funny cars the adults. <laughs> okay, it reminds me about Mario Kart. <laughs> oh my! It's very cool. <laughs> Okay, we are back to business. Hall B. After the big one, Hall A, we have a wonderful guy. Hello. Hello. Oh, this is cool skeleton guitar, for sure. I, unfortunately, I don't have the talent <laughs> to play, but it looks very really cool. Looks very cool. And what is this stuff? This is a sometimes a robot. Uh huh. Like a scooter wheel for a three and a half flower. Wow. So that again. So, all controlled by AI or? Nice, really impressive. Thank you. Nice, I love this stuff. Let's see how it works. So all 3D printed here. And then you can check how it works. Looks nice. Nice. Wait, this is five five Fridays. Five cows, five nights Fridays, right? Okay, so it was working, right? Okay. Looks nice, I like, really cool. Okay, ready? Cool. Thank you. Ready? Nice. So it's uh, absolutely the same approach as like real railgun, but very small version. No? For the time we're generating the net field, so uh -huh. when you check out forward, it works with a rail gun. Yeah, it's between the rails and the current is actually going uh -huh. to check out itself. Oh, okay. Like the force pushing it out. Yeah. So here it's like purely because of magnetic different fields, right? Here it goes. Well, so yeah, the, the, the current is going through it and generating it, and it's trying to basically it's uh -huh. rip itself apart. Yes. But the only thing that can move is the projectile, and so that gets shoved out. And here, all the magnetic field is around the, the yeah, projectile. So okay. Towards the middle of the magnet. I see. So what happens? We've got these three uh, just IR gates. Uh huh. So it starts here to hit fire. It tries to get pulled to the center of this of the coil. Uh huh. As soon as it clears this gate, this coil turns off, and then this one turns on. It oh, and same. Off, it's off. Turn, turn on. on okay. Nice. So this is a very famous scene from Titanic. And if you can survive an ice block in the ocean, and we need to Celine Dion here, like every night in my dream I see you, I feel you. Looks like. But at least the girl is safe. Same as uh, in the movie. The good guy, unfortunately. Unfortunately, he didn't make it. Okay. One more try, let's see. This is cool explanation of how the engine works. Real, nice, not electric one. <laughs> okay, hole number C. The last hole for today, I believe. And in general, for the open source, we have a great chance to visit. Some music. Oh my gosh. This is not just some music. You see, this is a music instrument. Very unique. A lot of lights. I don't know how it plays, how it works, but it's very synchronic. Okay. Oh, nice. And spells, emulation. So, this is our gaming experience. Let's see what happens. Oh, so this is no crazy thing. 
Oh, nice animation. Three colors. What I see this since this um, building exhibition, which is let us see it. It's more about cooperative gaming experience. Many of uh, kind of indie games, old games are styled in that way. Looks cool. Most like all these are independent projects. Some of them have really cool graphics, you see. And like really nice. And I mean like again, this is not big uh, publishers, big studios. So it looks good. You see where you need controls. It's not just like a game part. It's a fun experience. Yeah, all about the gaming experience. Cool, 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 cool. Especially for people who uh, like indie games, developers, and uh, publishers. And this is very cool, very cool. Okay, so this is one of outdoor stages for conversation part of this event because this is not only exhibition, it's technically annual conference uh, with a nice exhibition halls as well and uh, people showing their projects and uh, by the way i didn't explain the concept of open source but i will do this maybe later we could put it in the beginning of our video right so here is some discussion conversation out of stage let's see what they talk about This is one of uh, calls for talks, conversation and discussion. And uh, this is about game dev, uh, so that's why it's close to whole layer C. And uh, yeah, unfortunately not too many people, maybe because it's kind of like close to the end of the event and people are leaving already. But, yeah. I didn't make a footage of food trucks for sure. <laughs> I mean, like, they do have food, uh, a lot of different food trucks. We didn't try. I, it should be should be good for food truck <laughs> stuff. And they call it jungle. <laughs> Sounds like that, the food court. Okay, looks like we did it. We have uh, all the spaces, all the stages visited today. It was great. Meanwhile, yeah, subscribe, hit the bell, like us. I hope you like us, guys. It makes uh, sometimes extra effort and... Uh, uh, complexity to make all these materials. I almost missed this cool buddy. <laughs> Turbo. I don't know what you can do, but it looks or she, maybe it's she. Feels good. Turbo guy. I'm Turbo. Ask me about uh, Turbo. Okay. I will ask you in the future. Have a great day, Turbo. And this guy looks like developed the Turbo. Okay, this is a uh, food court area, relax area. We have some food. Not too many people uh, chilling, relaxing. Oh, looks good. Dumb jungle. Sorry, I was saying dumb jungle. No, the dumb jungle. Some kind of old airplane, fully covered with uh, plants and grass. Nice place. Nice. Oh my god. A bubble train. <laughs> so nice. And the guy sitting on this end of train. Awesome. Oh my god. One more small buddy <laughs> from the inventor of Chucky. Almost leaving the space, I missed that guy. The huge one skeleton, you see? Need to install it near my house for sure. I don't know how many, 12, 15 feet? Maybe even 20 feet, yeah. And other Halloween stuff, do it yourself. Look up, yeah, you see? I missed the sign last time. Yep. <laughs> okay. What do you think about this exhibition? Great. I mean, like, I am impressed same way as uh, I think most of people attending this exhibition. I will be probably more, let's say, prompt in my comments about it. But the thing is, first of all, it's awesome. It's exactly what I was missing when I was visiting Sensors Converge just recently. It was more about industrial enterprise-like, but 
I really missed real live demo sessions, demo projects, where you could check, where you could play, where you could touch. Here you have like absolutely great amount of the stuff. So I mean like a two, more than two hours of recording different footages to record these demo projects. And we didn't record all of them. I, I think maybe 10, 15% at most. So that's what I really love it. I don't have really some concerns about it. I didn't have a chance to listen to the talks conversation just very briefly. So maybe maybe this is another good point to check when you attend such yeah. events. But in general, cool. Great stuff, source of creativity, source of more ideas for any any folks who is interested not only on IoT topic, but in general building some cool stuff because one of the uh, exhibitions was dedicated to computer games and the uh, game industry. So yeah, if you have a chance, visit. It was a great event. Thank you.